G'day mate and welcome to Capital Industry with me, Jetty. Today I want to talk about the very first blueprint I'll be publishing and that being for Concrete Slabs. Now, before we get into actually the blueprint itself and how it all works, I want to go through a couple of things. First off, I want to mention that this is going to be an upgradable blueprint, blueprint from both uh, the Concrete Mixer Tier 1 onto the Tier 2. It won't cover Tier 3. That being, well, because of really at Tier 3 you want to upgrade the crushers, which is going to require a substantial rebuild. So maybe an updated version for that in the future. Tell me down in the comments below. At the same time, I am going to actually go through how this blueprint works and why you're going to need to build certain sections at certain times to make it compatible for both Tier 1 and Tier 2. That way, when somebody comes back in, to me in three months' time and says, Hey, JD, your blueprint doesn't work. This is not working. I can say, well, obviously you didn't watch the whole video. So, with that out of the way, as always, i just like to borrow a like. I'd like to borrow a like early in the video. It means you don't have to remember to put it on later. If you're not at all happy, by all means, you can have your like back. Don't forget, there's also chapters down the bottom, should you manage to grab this blueprint, and then decide in the future, you need to just get a quick refresher on exactly what need to be upgraded where, by all means, chapters down there for you. So, with that out of the way, let's go talk about, well, our building blocks, because we've got a couple of building blocks we need to talk about. We have our... Uh, Obviously, a concrete mixer tier one. Now, this is going to take in cement, uh, sand, sand, manufactured sand, yep, uh, and also cement, also gravel and slag. We're going to make sure that uh, when we're building this, it's going to take in either or or both. At the same time, it's obviously going to need to water. Now, the tier two runs twice as fast and requires, well, twice the amount of materials. Great. So, I want to make sure I'm covered for both of these. The tier three, we're not talking about, okay? Not covered. Go away. All right, uh, also we're gonna make sure that we're covered for the rotary kiln mark one and also the gas rotary kiln. As we can see, this guy outputs three cement. You need one and a half cement. So we can straight away see that there is a nice simple ratio uh, flip, uh, between these. If I have one of these, I can run two of these. Obviously, uh, I wanna run four of these because four of these is a great number, which means I'm gonna need two of these. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, our very first blueprint. But of, of course, when we upgrade to the concrete mixer tier two, uh, well, they run twice as fast, which means they need twice the cement, which means I now need four of those. So we need to plan for that as well. Uh, also, we're going to need the crusher to convert uh, our slag into slag crushed, also our rock into gravel, also our gravel into manufactured sand, and of course, we're going to need the trusty, trusty, trusty bucket. All right, with that out of the way, uh, let's start with these guys. So we're going to put them, I don't know, about here, let's go with, and we need to plug in some belts. So uh, transport lines, we're going to get a U-shaped belt and I'm gonna start here on this black line. Uh, also gonna run the next belt one tier up, and then I need to plug things in. So we're gonna plug in limestone, I'm gonna come out four tiles, and then I'm gonna plug in the coal. It's also gonna come out four tiles and stop right there, but I need these machines to line up. So we're gonna bring them just a little bit closer, and then I can do that, which means I can have one belt feed two machines. Beautiful little addition right there. Nope, works better if you line up, please. Okay, uh, now we've got that done, I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna copy that and paste that there. I'm also gonna copy that and paste that there. Now, that means that uh, that piece of belt and that piece of belt is erroneous, and you put a connector on there. I don't wanna connect up. Let's try again without the connector. Cool, all right, so that becomes our basic belt structure for both our limestone and our coal. Now, I don't need uh, this at all. I also don't need this at all. We're gonna need to get the trusty storage bucket and we're gonna plug that there, okay? If we're not sure, we can always grab one of these machines, hover, hold it in our mouse, we can say, okay, limestone's at the bottom. So I'm gonna put a bucket here for with limestone. I'm gonna say, bring limestone in. I also need to bring in coal. Uh, actually, limestone needs to go on that side so I can clear this for coal. Uh, we're going to come off that connector, out one tile, and then we're going to come down to ground level. And of course, the belt's facing the wrong way, but if I plug you in there and say reverse belt, we can say, I don't want limestone in this one, I want coal. With that done, that becomes our first basic building block for making uh, cement. Now, up here, I need to deal with the exhaust. Uh, we're going to put in a smokestack. Uh, actually over here, sideways, yep. Uh, we're also gonna grab transports. Uh, can I grab a pipe and run it into there and then into there? And uh, after I've done that, we're gonna remove, oh, come back. Find pipe and pipe. So I have that little connector on there. We're gonna copy that and plug that in there. After I've done that, I'm gonna plug that in there and we have the tightest little smokestack in the world. Uh, also costs, well, very, very few construction parts, whereas, you know, you've cost, well, 10 as is, yeah. All right, uh, that means this part is now done. Now, as I said, we only need two of these. 
to run four of these machines. So that's the first thing I'm going to build. I'm going to use Uni and we're going to build this belt, this belt, this belt, that belt, also these belts. Uh, I need that little belt as well and that bucket. Also need this machine, this machine and your smoke stacks. Okay. We can now make cement, but I can't actually make, make concrete slabs just yet because, well, we don't have these parts built. Now, uh, we have two different belts we need to deal with. As we can see, we have the U-shaped belt uh, for two of the inputs, and we also have a flat belt for two of the inputs, okay? I know I need to come out one, two, three, four, five tiles, I hope. Uh, we're going down from height three, it should be five tiles. So if I put my, nope, uh, you're gonna go in that direction. You're gonna go left and right. Uh, U-shaped belt, we're gonna come up one tile, I'm gonna go over the top, and we're gonna come up one more tile and go over the top in that direction, okay? With that done, uh, we're gonna run our flat belt into here, our flat belt into here, our flat belt into here, in here, cool, and our flat belt into here. Uh, we're gonna run our U-shaped belts uh, off that one into there and off that one into there. Cool, with that done, we're gonna copy that because I'm lazy and I don't really wanna do the same process three more times and paste. All right, I can now remove the excess belts. So that's excess, I don't need that. That's excess, I don't need that. And you're probably excess, but we're gonna leave you there for right now. All right, we're gonna cut all of this and I'm gonna put you a two tile gap. Two tile gap just gives me a little bit of wiggle room. As we can see for our very first flat belt, we're not gonna need much wiggle room because that's pretty straight. Okay, so that gives us, well, uh, concrete mixers that now at least have, well, cement being added. Uh, I also need to plug in you. Yeah, flat belts. Let's do our flat belts first. Uh, we are gonna be able to run off our flat belt into every single one of these flat belts, uh, there to there without that flat belt. And that means these two, when they're running, can fill out and run all the cement down to here. And that will run all four of these without a problem, okay? Step number one, great, excellent. Step number two is, well, when we upgrade them. We'll worry about upgrading them in just one minute. I missed that belt there, okay. Uh, step number three is obviously I need to get in all the other materials. So we're gonna grab in a mixer, uh, sorry, a crusher. I'm gonna put you hard up against the belts. We're gonna have the first line is gonna do both slag and a slag crush and also rock and gravel because I need both gravel and slag crush. We're gonna make sure that these can run either one of them because slag is a waste product, comes from your smelting and you should have that at all times. But there's also a chance that you may have a small, small, you know, tiny slag shortage at some stage, at which point you can swap over to, well, rock. Uh, so we're gonna need three of these. I don't need three of these long-term, but to upgrade these to tier two, well, I will need three of them to run tier two. Uh, so we're gonna grab a U-shaped belt and I'm gonna start right here between behind this machine at height two and just plug these three together. Keep things nice and simple. Keep the belt, uh, the belt spaghetti to a minimum for now. I'm gonna remove both those and we're gonna come out of the front and nope, uh, you need to come forward one tile and then the whole build needs to come forward one tile. Please be patient whilst we just move you forward one tile. And actually, the whole build needs to be flipped. Yeah, okay. You guys, I uh, got you around the wrong way. You need to go that way. Yeah, because they're off-centered. Uh, one, two, and three. There we go. Okay. Now to confirm. Okay, that's not what I wanted. You plugged it into yourself. Try again. There to that connector in there. See? Just about having things in the right orientation. Okay, plug you three together, uh, bring you up to height two, plug you into there, and you into there, and you into there. All right, uh, we need you to do uh, slag to slag crushed and rock to gravel, but not sand. Uh, we're gonna copy that recipe and apply it to the, your friends. All right, on top of that, I need another one. We're gonna need uh, one more, and you are gonna be doing, well, just rock into gravel because I need to make the manufactured sand. The manufactured sand is, well, it comes from rock, which means I don't have to worry about finding quartz to turn quartz to quartz crushed, to then cr turn quartz crushed into sand. Rock is way easier to get than, sand, uh, than quartz. So we're gonna go with one, two, and three, and we need to bring a belt out of here and up to there. And as we can see, the belts do magical things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come forward one tile, which is gonna force it to try and go in a forward orientation, and then go one, two, and three. Out of the front, uh, we're gonna come out of here and go to our top belt this time. Uh, no, come on, one tile first. 
and then onto our top belt and plug you into there and you into there. Okay, so that is going to be our rock into gravel and our gravel in a manufactured sand and we're going to copy and paste those together. Okay, I still haven't worked out how we're going to get uh, rock or slag into both these belts. So we need to work on that next. Uh, to do that, we're going to need a bucket, please. And can I put the bucket uh, here, tucked up against the corner of this machine? We don't want to waste any tiles. But I want you to not only have rock, uh, but also a second one right behind it that actually has the rock. So this one's going to be where the rock comes in, and we're going to have you output onto both a belt and into this bucket. This means that I should always have some rock sitting in this bucket ready to go to feed this one machine, because uh, this one machine can only run on rock. It's super important that that one has rock so we can make the manufactured sand. As for this belt that's gonna continue up to here, it could run either or. Okay, on top of that, I, need, I did mention I need to get slag in. So we're gonna put a second bucket in here. I'm gonna set you for slag. But I want to have some sort of smarts. I don't just want to just do it. Well, let's do it. Uh, can we run you uh, F mode to that tile? And then from that tile to... You might not let me know. There. Ooh. Uh, I can do this. By putting a connector on there, I would have 50% of my slag mixed with 50% of my rock, which would work. It would work. It would work, but obviously we can do slightly better than that, and I'd like to do slightly better if possible. Uh, so we're going to just cut some of this out of the way, and we're going to put in a U-shaped balancer. Now, the advantage of putting in a balancer means that I can well, add some sort of orders to the system. So we're going to plug the slag into one side of the balancer and the rock in the other. I'm going to say, hey, I want you to prioritize the slag. The reason I want you to prioritize the slag is, well, it's a waste product. I don't have to dig that up from the island. I'm guaranteed that as long as I'm doing some sort of smelting, I'm probably making some sort of slag. That is till later game when you're doing a lot more recycling, but that's a whole separate issue. So with that done, uh, we're going to build our slag bucket. We're going to build our rock bucket. Well, this bucket will be set to off, so trucks can't take any materials out of it. Uh, we're going to build uh, these belts, uh, obviously the balancer, and this belt. Okay. After we get up to here, we obviously need this guy to make our gravel, which is then going to run into, uh, well, some of our output belts. Uh, you need three manufactured sands. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. You make eight. So I'm going to need to have two of these guys running. Uh, to have enough manufactured sand to make sure all these guys run. On top of that, you need uh, either nine gravel or nine slag crush. So that's nine, that's 18, that's 36. Uh, you guys make 24 apiece. So again, I need to have two of these running to keep this running at, well, tier two, tier, uh, tier one speed. Yes, tier one speed. Uh, we also need to make sure all our output belts are done. And when you get the blueprint, you'll find that it has basically everything like this as a complete blueprint ready to go. And the only thing I need to do is find water, which water... Cool. Longest pipe in the world. And... Uh, water... It's now much easier because we can bring this up to height two. We can run it right over the top. And now we have vertical pipes. I can bring this to here. Uh, no, I can bring it to, yep, there. And then bring it down. We can bring it to one tile short and then drop it straight down. And then we'll get those connectors on the end. Can I just uni build all of that really quickly? And also uni build, hello, you. Cool. All right, uh, so that should give us our water. Last thing we're going to need is we're going to need an output bucket. Uh, so we need a storage. We're just going to put a small storage on the end because all this is done with the most basic of building blocks. So we're going to be doing all tier one belts uh, and all tier one storages. I know the game now auto upgrades and downgrades your, your blueprints depending on what tech you have available, but we're going to make sure we keep things as simple as possible. All right, I just need the water to show up and we need to build that belt. That seems important. And that belt. Cool. With that done, uh, we're going to give it like, I don't know, two seconds, two seconds to actually have the water get here and actually start turning on and running. Uh, 
And with our first concrete slabs coming out, uh, we can see that def the build is definitely up and right. Oh my gosh. Bad trucks. Bad trucks. Uh, can I get a bigger storage, please? Because that just instantly filled up. Thanks. Bad trucks. Bad trucks. Oh, you give them half a second. Okay, uh, so this is our build up and running. But obviously, you're going to say to me, JD, this is not a concrete mixer tier two. I need to upgrade them. And you are totally right. Uh, we're going to upgrade them. Uh, so if I upgrade all of these to the next tier, upgrade, uh, and build all of them, we're going to have a couple of problems. One, the first one is going to be the ratio. The ratio is going to change. Uh, we're going to suddenly need twice the amount of cement. So if I need twice the amount of cement, I need to have this whole build running. So we're going to build that whole build. All right. Next thing I'm going to have is I now need to get these cements into, well, this cement into these machines. So the way the cement's been set up is we did have two machines running four. I don't need two machines running four anymore. I actually need each one of these uh, cement mixers, cement mixers, rotary kilns. Yep. Running uh, each individual concrete mixer. So you have a couple of choices. One, you could be super lazy and you can take this belt and plug it in here and take this belt and plug it in there and call it good enough close enough it's pretty much done it'll work it won't be perfect like we we can see that you know it's 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 going to have an issue where the three cement that comes out of here 50 percent of it's going to go this way 50 percent is going to go this way that is until the system backs up at which point it'll probably run a little bit better you're probably going to get like a 75 percent uptime out uptime out of this one machine or we can be a little bit more destructive uh if i was a little bit more destructive and i remove that belt plus that belt plus that belt uh, and then uni, uni completed all of that, we can see that, well, this now has a dedicated belt, this has a dedicated belt, this has a dedicated belt, this has a dedicated belt. Solves so many problems. On top of that, we now need twice the amount of manufactured sand and twice the amount of gravel. So I need 6, 12, uh, 24 manufactured sand. You make 8, uh, 20, 8, 16, uh, and if I made you as well, you would make 24 manufactured sand, which means I need 24 gravel, which luckily we already have. Cool. Uh, on top of that, I would need to have uh, 18 gravel, uh, 36 gravel, 72 gravel. Uh, I would have 24, uh, 48, yeah, 70 something gravel. Cool. Uh, I need to build you as well. But my belts only move 60. Okay. So I also need to bring in the upgrade button. I need to upgrade this little belt in here. Also need to upgrade this little belt in here and this little belt from here and this little belt from here. All those belts need to go to tier two. Once they go to tier two, uh, we should be able to run everything at maximum speed. And yeah, only as far as the first machine, because you're going to run uh, a belt speed of 200 into here. Once it gets to here, it'll slope down to 60. We only need to run 48 into both of these. As for our water demands, well, we need 12, 24, 48 water. The pipe still moves 60, so that's not an issue. As for our output, we're outputting 24. So we have 2448, which means at this point, I also need to upgrade that belt and that belt. And with both those done and fully completed, we should find that we run at full speed. Now, I might have an issue where the box is too slow. Yeah, I don't think the tier one box comes, keeps up with a belt speed of 200. So we might have to upgrade the box as well to a T2 box. But once that's done, we should be good. Hey, that belt's running a little bit better. All right, uh, and that is our completed build. Now, as for the blueprint itself, you will find the blueprint itself on my Discord server. Uh, under the very first channel, right near the top, is blueprints. I just ask that you, know, you give the blueprint, blueprint a try uh, and make sure that you watch the video start to end so you can see which belts you need to upgrade. Because obviously, as I said, this is going to be a tier one version. Tier one version, ready to go with all the infrastructure built for the tier two concrete mixer. But there's no, no instructions applied to the bl blueprint. So you've really got to, you know, watch the video and make sure that you know which belts you need to upgrade and which ones you need to destroy to make everything work uh, the way you want it to for T2. But with all that said, uh, this is where I'm going to leave this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed and swing past my Discord server to grab that particular blueprint. As always, links are on, on the screen, in the description, and of course, pinned across the Discord. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.